Hey guys, Maxi here, and I just wanted to do a quick video on joining up scanned images when you have a small scanner, like an A4 scanner, and you've got a big image, like an A3 image, just as I have here. So I've already scanned my image in two halves, you can see here, and we're going to drag them into Photoshop and join them up. So here they are in Photoshop, we've got the bottom half, it's a uh, boat club and the top half is the flag and what you want to do first is double click the background layer to make it editable and get your move tool and just drag it into the other half which we'll use as our base to make the image um, you can kind of line it up and you can actually close the uh, the other one because we don't need any more then you want to double click the other background layer the bottom half to make that editable and then increase the size of your canvas by about double um, putting the anchor at the bottom so you can make this one about 45 and then just drag the top half up and you want to match it up roughly um, well pretty precisely actually um, you can use other things in the image to line it up and you can use the cursor keys to move it pixel by pixel so I'm just uh, lining the trees up in the background you can see here that looks about right and you can check by toggling the uh, top layer on and off to see if it's in the right position and that, look, that looks about right so now you can see this uh, grey line on the edge of the scan and we want to get rid of that and the reason that we've overlapped I've actually scanned a bit more than I needed to is so when you erase it will uh, reveal the background layer and make it blend better so get the eraser tool and put the hardness down to 0% make the opacity about 60% or 70 up at the top and then just zoom in and start brushing away and erasing the, uh, the grey line now each click with the eraser tool with this opacity will erase about 70% of what you're clicking on so one click won't erase the line entirely so you have to click once or twice you can see the shadow up here you can check if you want it to be like that by uh, just hiding and unhiding the top layer I'm just doing it quite quickly here to show you what you need to do. You can uh, do it more precisely with your own work. As this is only a black and white image, um, it's not too hard in it, the background's white paper. But uh, you still get this line. Okay, so that looks about done. From a distance it looks alright. And then once you've done that, you have to create a new layer and go image, apply image. And this will apply whatever you can see on the moment at the moment um, onto that layer. And then you can just hide the background two layers. Um, so you've just got this one that you can work with without worrying about uh, messing up the other two. So now we want to crop it, get the crop tool and I've made some marks at the top of the page where I want to crop it with a pencil. So just, I just drag that down to there and then the left hand side I want to get rid of the marks at the top left so I just drag them out of the way. On the right I want to get rid of the white so about there and the bottom 
I use this to line up the uh, horizontal lines of the rule of third lines. You can hold down con control while you're dragging the uh, crop edge to have um, to have it not snap to the edge. So if you want to move it a very tiny bit, you can hold down control. I'm going to line it up with the uh, about the edge of the bank, and then you hit the tick at the top, and it will crop it for you. Now we're not quite done at the moment because uh, scanned images don't entirely take the colour you want. So we're going to do some quick colour correction. Now this is a black and white image, mostly, um, so auto tone will fix it up quite nicely. It'll make the blacks um, more black than they're supposed to be, and the whites more white. It gives contrast. In coloured paintings or scans, you can do auto contrast. Um, which will touch it up quite nicely in black and white paintings it doesn't, doesn't do much and then you can do auto colour which will correct the sort of yellowy reddish tone that you get in most scans makes it sort of dark uh, black and white or slightly blue tinge um, which you might not want in some cases um, I know I don't for this so if you are scanning black and white you can select the portion you do want in black and white and just do image adjustments black and white and click OK and that will make it true black and white. I've said black and white like 10 times now but um, so that's it that should be the um, end of the tutorial try it out for yourself and let me know if um, if you liked it, give it a like if you did, and I'll see you next time.